All right, guys. We'll box in the old BB Bandit out. And uh, lots of help from Lieutenant Bam Bam. Thanks, buddy. My Padawan Entourage uh, helper guy. Uh, as you can see, the car is pretty much box in and out, except for the whole the nose area. I got to inside these headlights here and just around here, and, that, and that's it. We're done. Uh, I'm just trying to really kind of you know, knock it out and get it done because this is only prime once. I gotta like do it again and sand it again. Uh. So I'll grab the camera and I'll walk around and show you what we got done. There's lots of spots, uh, lots of bunch of spots and little doodads here and there that are still red. Those are the low spots, right? And you can see some of the body filler in other spots. And that would be a high spot you had to bring down, blocking it out. And then the spot was like right here, where it's all the primer, and that, that flowed out pretty nice and, and blocked out nice. So uh, pretty much the next pass of primer, I put one coat on here to begin with, and I'm gonna go ahead and do, uh, I think, three coats next time, and that'll bury everything and, and probably be pretty good. And I'll have to block it out to make sure and see what I got. Um, I'll, uh, let me pop the camera and uh, I'll show you what I got in some of the spots and things I've got to do. Just for some of you guys who aren't lucky enough to spend their life box sanding primer coat, uh, you'll understand the ups and downs and the ins and outs of the guide coat and everything else. All right, guys, you can see, like I said, the guide coat spots that I still got to finish up. And I can't get, this is as far away as I can get from the car, so, but I'll show you what we got the best I can. And you can see like the spot like right here, that little red spot, well that's a low spot. I'm gonna have to hit that with some body filler and bring it in. And we got it all really good. And over here, on this side I'll show you, like right here, and over in here, and this here, that's pretty low. I'm gonna have to pull a nice guide coat. I mean a tight coat of body filler up there, because that's really kind of wavy. Those are low spots and they're bad. But you can see like, and I'll point that, you can see the red right here. And then that spot there is some fiberglass poking through, and then you have the body filler here. So those are the high spots. Okay, so then you can just tell that that's the low. So I'll tight coat that with some uh, body filler. And I'll use like uh, what they call Euro Soft uh, or Spot Putty. Not Spot Putty. I gotta look at my, my cans of stuff. I'll, I'll tell you, wait, let me look here quick. Uh, what do I got over here? Oh, this stuff here, Glazing Putty. There you go, that's good stuff. And it's just a, um, it's not, the viscosity is thinner than regular body filler. It's got like more resin in it. So it'll be a lot easier to pull a, a tight coat on there and, and knock that out. But you can see spots, you know, uh, like right here, the sand scratches are coming up and stuff like that. But that's all okay, don't worry about that. All in here, it all sanded out really nice. The interior. I'm gonna just give you a quick walk around. Like I said, I'll point out some things, like, like right here, you can see this here, that's a pretty good little pit right there. So when I have the body filler mixed up, I'll just get, you know, this will fill. These little scratch marks, these aren't that deep, but I can see them, but I know that they'll fill with the next couple coats of this high blow primer. But that's a pretty deep one right, right there, that's a pretty deep little bugger. So I'll just give that a little swipe and then I'll knock it out with uh, some sandpaper. Uh, same deal with this one right here. So that's why you can tell, you know, that red stands up really nice, you know, next to the body filler and the light gray primer. Uh, same deal here, like here you can see some of the, the red still. That's all pretty good when you run your hand over it. So this will all be okay when I prime it again. Same as right down here on the running board. I do have a spot right here where you can see my cheese grater cuts. That's really deep right there. So that's definitely gonna get a little spot of body filler on that. And again, like right here, there's some spots not that far off from it, and they're not bad. The next coats of uh, primer will take care of them, same as these little pits here. So really, nothing too, uh, too radical. It'll all get taken care of. But that's pretty much that. We're just gonna keep uh, knocking it out and uh, get to it and prime it again. All right, gang. I finished doing all the block sanding on this thing. And I blew the car off and I went in for the night, let the dust settled. I had the exhaust fan running down as much out of here as I could. And I, what I'm gonna do now is, like I said, I'm gonna go around and take care of all the really deep pits or deep scratches that I know a primer probably won't take care of the next 
go around. <coughs> so that's what I've done. I've mixed up some of that glazing putty and I, the glazing filler, body filler, whatever you want to call it. And I got that all pretty much in and around the uh, in the tub. Because now what I've noticed when I primed it the first time is I got to kind of lean over it and get in this deep area. I come up, oh, oh, I'm in there. And I'm going to get my shirt and the primer. So if I make I prime this and then I prime the outside. This stuff takes a while to dry. It's not like it's base coat paint or even like catalyzed clear. I'm like this and I can't get in there. So what I've decided is I'm just going to do the tub, the hot tub area, the jacuzzi. Yes! So uh, I went in here, I blew it all out, and then I used like wax and grease remover, pre clean all clicks, whatever you want to call it, to make sure I got all the dust out of here because then your body filler doesn't stick. And if you've got a little bit of dust inside one of your pits or something, and you body fill it, you're going to sand it, it's just going to pop right out. It's like putting flour in a cake tin so the cake doesn't stick when you bake it. Same theory. So I clean this all up, and I'm going around, I'll show you with the camera, and I've got gibbly gobbly goops, a little splash of block of body, uh, body, body filler all over this inside now, all the deep spots I can find. A lot of it I know is going to fill the next couple coats. So I'm going to go in here now, I'm going to sand this all out, like I say, just the tub, and I'll wipe it down and get it ready, and I'm going to prime just that. Uh, I bought extra primer, I'm going to go for three, maybe four coats. I want it thick, because I'd like to block this and be done. And even the next blocking is going to be looking for low spots and stuff. So I'll be using, I don't know, I used 120 this pass, maybe I'll use 180. And I'll go up on my grip, I'll do 180, and if this blocks out really sweet and nice, the whole car, then I know I can prime it with, not, even, not, that, uh, not the feather fill I've been using, but I'll use regular automotive body filler, give it a couple passes, and I'll block it for paint using three, uh, 320 or uh, 400. So that's where we're at right now. Let me pop the camera and I'll show you the spots that I've uh, filled, all the deep pit holes and scratches and stuff. You can see some of the fresh body filler in there, but I'll get in closer and show it to you. Um, but I know like right up front there, there was a really deep goober I had to go after. I've got it up here, there were a, a, a bunch of uh, little pinholes. I did like pretty much around this perimeter because of overspray and stuff that's going to happen when I prime it. I really don't want to mask anything off. But you can see, I, you know, if I had extra, and you guys remember that one spot right there? Well, I goobered that up, I got that. And this, you know, it's everywhere. There's pinholes everywhere. It's kind of unavoidable with, with a job this big. So, you can see I've got them in there. I've got some spots I've got to take care of. And that's just how it is. It's a lot of work doing a car you're not going to drive. And so there you go. And you remember those cheese grater spots? Well, that's them right there. And I got them grooved up and a couple other deep ones. But you can see the spots I, you know, I didn't do like this because I know the primer is going to fill that in. You know, same with these here. There's a couple of little doobity doos right there. I know the primer is going to get them. So let me get this cat. Oh, I'll show you the nose now that it's done getting sanded. And there's, you know, more spots. And I got them taken care of. But that's the nose all sanded out. My little keep me warm heater in the back over there. Now let me get this uh, camera back on the tripod and we'll start sanding those spots out. Alright guys, I've got all those spots taken care of inside the jacuzzi area there. And I, you know, I blew it all out and I didn't get the list that I had my fan running and I had to shut it off so you could hear me. And what happens when you blow a fire glass off is it gets like a um, static charge and it attracts all the dirt and dust to it. Kind of like in the winter when you walk across the carpet and your socks you can go boop and zap it with your dog and your cat and your wife or something like that. So uh, that's what we got going on. So I'm going to get this rag nice and wet with the wax and grease remover and I'm going to wipe all this stuff down again. This way I know I have no more dust in here, no dust filling all my pinholes or scratches that are still here. The ones I know the primer is going to fill. And we'll get
in good adhesion. Guys, you can see by all the measles spots, that's the spot putty 
filling up a lot, a lot of them in there because I can't get in there with the spray gun. And it's tough to stick your head upside down and take a look to see what's going on. So I've got all those, I've got spots back here. Any of the horizontal spots lay out good because the uh, primer levels off and puddles in really good. I had a bunch right here and that all puddled in really swell. And like this spot in between the hinge holes, I had primed when I did the cockpit and I laid some primer up in there because I had the extra and I sanded that, that out quick at 120 and that's nice, that laid out really sweet. So that's what we're looking for with the rest of the body. But yeah, we got little primer spots, I mean uh, spot putty spots everywhere. So it's not too bad. But you gotta have to guide coat this now. And I'm gonna guide coat right over the spot putty. And then we'll block it out. And that'll be that. Nice white guide coat. I'll pull the camera in a little closer, give you a close-up view. Here we go, not looking too shabby. So now, uh, the last time I got to sand it, it's been like three or four times, so I've lost count. But uh, that's it, we sand this out, and then I paint it white, shoot the clear with the pearl, and that's our base. And then I wet sand that out to do all the, uh, the gold and candy red graphics that Ed Roth did way back in 59, 1960. So I guess that's enough for an episode. So that's that. Let's wrap this up. Thank you very much for watching and uh, letting me waste your time. Uh, hey, don't forget to check out www.spritzbyfritz.com. Does anybody even say www anymore? It sounds like, you know, white, white walls or something like that. Um, yeah, but spritzbyfritz.com, check that out. If you follow me on Instagram, always check out the bedtime auctions. They're pretty good. I paint stuff and I have a metal flake uh, surface helmets and stuff you can check out on my Instagram page. Uh, and that's it, I guess. Thanks for you know, checking things out. Go and uh, check out Patreon. That's going to be uh, patreon.com backslash spritzbyfritz. And you can join up and see videos before everybody else and so on and so forth. And uh, hey, stay safe out there and get out in the garage and build something.